Hello, it's Nikki and welcome back. Today I'm talking about actually achieving your goals. And I know that the five-year plan is seen as like this big, beautiful thing that you can strive towards. But I know for me, five-year plans are great, but sometimes they are stifling. Sometimes they're overwhelming. Sometimes they just don't help me because I need to close the gap. I need to make the next move. So for the purposes of the, this video, I'm going to be talking about a monthly time frame, And I'm recording this on the first of the month and also the first day of the last quarter of 2023. Now, if you're watching this at another time, no worries at all. It's perfect for those days. You know when you wake up and everything in your body is saying, come on kid, it's time to make a change. It's time to make some moves. And I'm bored. I'm bored of that mindset stuff, those voices in my head, that sense of, oh, I don't know if I can do it, that negativity. And you know it's your time. This is going to be great for you because it will really help you break down the process and really set yourself up for success. So in this video, I'm going to give you 10 things that you can do to maximize the chances that you will actually achieve your goals at the end of the month. Number one, spend some time with the final day. What I mean by this is physically, and even if, if you're doing this at another point, but you want to track something for 30 days, take your calendar out, take your diary out, and have a look at what day of the week it falls. Uh, what will you be doing? What's happening? Have you got something in the diary then? And really visualize and fast forward those next four weeks. It will really help you to make it real. And quite often with goals, when I work with clients, it maybe hasn't happened before because everything feels a bit woolly. It feels a bit, oh, well, it's a bit negotiable, essentially. And I want to really help you to gain clarity and for things to be really clear. Number two, this is the bit that people skip and it's so important. It's so crucial and it's so beneficial to the process. Spend some time looking at, from a 360 degree angle, where you are today. And I know the, what do I want? Where am I going? How much money am I going to make? Or whatever your goals are for the month ahead. That future visioning moment is really exciting. However, it's almost like you're stuck in a parallel parking situation. And if you haven't looked around to notice where you are right now, you're not going anywhere fast anyway, or you are and you might kind of crash into another car. So take that time today and really check in. Where are you up to? What's going on? How are you feeling? Again, how can you set yourself up for success? Number three, what is this month or this period of time for you? What's it all about? And if like me, you might be somebody who has a lot of ideas, lots of things you want to be, do, have and feel. And you'll get there. You'll get to do all of the things that you want to do. But for the purposes of this exercise, have a go at playing this version of the game. What are your focuses for this month ahead? And before you feel that or you really lean into that resistance of like, don't make me choose, I just don't know, can I do six or seven things? Here's a spoiler alert. If you focus on one thing, if you get really good at that, if you go all in, all of the other areas of your life are going to feel the benefit of that. So don't worry that you're going to leave other stuff behind. Actually becoming the person who sets that habit, who gets everything really clear and focused, you will feel that ripple effect in all areas of your life. Number four, what am I tracking? This is a really great exercise and it doesn't have to be complicated. You can go all in and create a spreadsheet or a, a tick list or whatever it might be, or it may be you just writing in your diary 
each and every day a couple of sentences as to where you're up to. This is great for knowing exactly where you are because maybe on day seven, you're mu much further than you thought you would be. Like things are happening, things are cooking. And equally, you might get to day 25 and think, I have not made the progress that I wanted to and it will give you that momentum to keep going. I think there is a huge spectrum between where you are right now and where you want to get to. And what we're really interested in is that middle bit because there are so many clues in there of what is going on. And it's a really nuanced process. So allow tracking to be part of your process. And again, it doesn't have to be complicated. Okay, um, the next one. What am I going to do differently? It's the old phrase, what's got you here won't get you there. And I believe when I'm looking at my own goals, yes, there are some things that are tried and tested and I can incorporate in there, but sometimes it's going to be requiring a new version of myself or a heightened version or a different flavor of myself. So here what I'm looking for is to come up with some solutions, some really practical things of like, right, what am I going to do differently here? And how can I make it really fun? Next my belief system. If I don't believe it, then nobody else is either. And so we really have to work on our own belief, our own self-confidence. And one thing that I do all of the time is to welcome all of the feelings. I did that on a run this morning. I spent the first part of it thinking about my goals and then almost coming up with all of the stuff in my head, the worries, the thoughts, the feelings, the concerns of why it wasn't going to happen. And I really welcomed them like, yeah, what else? What else is in there? Okay, okay, let's keep exploring. Because once you pull them to the surface, you can either say, well, that's not true anyway, so I'm going to ignore that. Or sometimes you have that aha moment of, Oh, that's what I'm really worried about. Okay, so I need to come up with a plan to support that. Next, think about the tried and tested things. What really works for you? And sometimes this is going back into maybe times in your life where you just felt like you were on a roll, things were happening, things were moving and shaking. And so I want you to consider um, what really helps you to create that momentum. Number eight, um, how are you going to feel really grounded and organized and connected in this moment? So sometimes when we talk about goals, there's this feeling of flight, of expansion, of like reaching for the stars and um, moving out of your comfort zone. However, we have to become familiar like a flight would. A flight can't just keep uh, going for ages and ages. It has to be refueled. It has to be cleaned. It has to rest. And we as human beings are also like that. And so having those moments in the day where you come back to that neutral point where you feel grounded, where you feel good is going to be essential. And that looks and feels very different depending on the individual. So what is that? for you. Two more things. Write it down. Write it down. Stick it on your wall. Have it as a notification. Put it as your screensaver. If you are seeing it frequently, you're more likely to connect with it. It's as simple as that. It's not complicated. And I know so often people put all of this emphasis on January the 1st, like, right, I'm going to do this thing. And they write this huge list of goals down and then they put it in a drawer and then they forget about it. And then they discover it four years later, like, oh, yeah, January 2018, I was going to do that, wasn't I? And then, um, yeah, it's not in, in the forefront of their mind. So if you're doing this, if you are doing this for the next month ahead, get your goals where you can see it. And finally, what are you going to do at the end? When you reach those goals, when you knock your own socks off, how are you going to reward yourself? Not only in that moment of the end of the month, but also what is going to be the ripple effect? Who are you 
you going to tell? Really get into the emotions of that, of like, yeah, I'm doing this and I'm going to do that. And sometimes there's been moments for me of like, I'm going to go and book that holiday. I'm going to spend that time with my family or uh, we're going to go, I don't know, to our favorite pub and, and have a meal or whatever it is. Like already with my family, we are organizing what we're going to do on the day after they break up from school and have that as a tradition a celebration. So I hope that's been helpful. Feel free to write down below what you're working on, what this month is all about for you so we can become accountable. And even just writing it down shows yourself that it is important and you are very important and I want to see you thrive. Uh, good luck this month. Go for it. And I can't wait to see what you do, what happens and the shifts that you make. And make sure you let me know. I would love, love, love to hear. That's it for now. I'll see you very soon. Bye.